Journey of Government College of Pharmacy Rohru started as a single room in the year 2005 in Government Polytechnic Rohru. The early days of GCP Rohru were characterized by limited resources, a small team and a lot of uncertainty. However, despite of these challenges, the institute is driven by a strong sense of purpose and a passion for its mission. This institute which was set up as a single room is today a well flourished institute is a testament of its hard work determination and clear vision But now the college has overcome many challenges and has continued to evolve and grow becoming a leader in its field and a model for others to follow Government College of Pharmacy Rohru is one of the premier institute of pharmacy in the state of Himachal Pradesh situated in the lap of gigantic Himalaya surrounded by lush green forest and great apple vegetation It is a fully flesh campus spread over an area of 3 acres and encompassing of large complex facilities different structures and spaces Now starting with the administrative building Entrance of administrative building have a sculpture of goddess of knowledge Ma Saraswati The administrative block is the central hub for the management and administration of the college and it plays a critical role in ensuring the smooth functioning of the institution. The principal's cabin is well equipped with a desk, chair and other furnishing and is designated to provide a comfortable and professional working environment for the principal. and the upper floor of the administrative building consists of the cabins for assistant professors they are usually well appointed with every sort of furnitures and furnishings required the administrative block is under 24/7 internet services conference hall provide a professional and functional space for events and gatherings and to facilitate communication and collaboration among participants the conference hall is equipped with latest audio visual and lighting technology as well as comfortable seating and a stage or a podium for speakers College Auditorium is a large hall used for hosting various events, lectures, performances and presentations. The auditorium have tiered seating that provides a clear view of the stage. The administrative block itself consists of a traditional kitchen garden. The kitchen garden is used for growing edible plants like garlic, coriander, green chilies, mint, etc. Now, coming on to the heart of GCP Roru, that is the academic block. The academic block is the building with multiple floors with examination halls, machine rooms, and classrooms, laboratories and many more. Now coming on to the library library is serving as a hub for academic research and information retrieval the library is equipped with a wide range of resources including books journals as well as group study area to support learning and collaboration the Library consists of ample space for students to engage in hands-on research and experimentation. The study area is a designated space alongside a library where the student can go to read, study and work quietly and independently. This area is typically designed to provide a quiet and distraction-free environment, allowing students to focus on their academics. 
In the smart class, the technologies like computer, projector and interactive softwares are used. The goal of smart class is to make the lecture class more amazing and interactive with visuals and thereby improving student understanding and retention of the material. This includes the use of presentation, animation, simulation and other multimedia to help illustrate and reinforce key concepts and ideas. The classrooms are well equipped with necessary resources such as desks, chairs and whiteboards. Our classrooms are used for variety of educational activities such as lectures, discussions and hands-on learning experiences. The classrooms are providing a good space for students to learn and to grow. The computer center is providing IT resources and other related services to our students. Our computer center provides a centralized location for our students to access technology resources, enabling them to complete academic related tasks, conduct research and access information more efficiently. Now, moving on to our laboratories. First, let's start from our Pharmacognosy Laboratory. The Pharmacognosy Laboratory is providing us with scientific understanding of natural products and their potential for use as a medicine. The Cognosy Lab consists of chromatography instruments, spectrophotometers, microscopes, centrifuges, autoclaves, glassware and other lab apparatuses. Development of new drugs from natural sources, screening of plant extract for biological activity, standardization of herbal medicines, identification of crew drugs and quality control, plant extraction and isolation of active compounds are some of the main activities carried out in the pharmacognosy lab by students themselves. We are with Three pharmaceutics lab in our campus. These pharmaceutics lab are providing with the elementary education regarding manufacturing of medicines. We are having dissolving apparatus, French diffusion cell, ultrasonic prosonicator, UV spectrophotometer, hot plate, disintegration apparatus, friability apparatus, Brookville viscometer, and many other equipments in our pharmaceutics lab. Now, coming on to our pharmaceutical analysis lab. This is a well-equipped lab with all the glasswares required for pharmaceutical analysis. The glassware includes burette, pipette, volumetric flasks, measuring cylinders, etc. The institute encompasses of two pharmacology labs. The pharmacology lab is equipped with various instruments and equipments to perform various studies. It consists of plethysmograph, refrigerator, animal weighing balance, elevated plus maze. The digital BP apparatus, human skeleton model, metabolic cage, rotorod apparatus, pole climbing apparatus, and many more. Now, the farm chemistry labs. The farm chemistry labs focuses on the study of drugs and their interactions with biological systems. Various experiments are performed to understand the structure, properties and the behavior of drugs. Some common activities that take place in hair are synthesis of new compounds, isolation and purification of compounds, structure determination by various techniques such as X-ray crystallography, NMR spectroscopy, etc. Our campus consists of one biotechnology lab. Our biotechnology lab teaches our students to manipulate and study biological systems. 
with the goal of discovering new treatments for disease, improving agricultural methods and developing new products for various industries. Our Biotechnology Lab consists of horizontal and vertical laminar air flows, aseptic area as per AICTE guidelines, autoclaves, petri dishes and all other necessary equipments used for biotechnological experiments. Coming on to Central Instrumentation Facility Laboratories that is CIF, it is the shared research resource that provides access to advanced scientific research, instrumentation and technical expertise. The purpose of CIF is to provide students with cutting-edge technology by providing access to the tools and resources needed to advance research. The CIF lab consists of PCR and ELISA apparatus. The PCR is widely used to rapidly make millions to billions of copies of DNA. Moving on to HPLC, it is used for separation and identification purposes. It also consists of infrared spectrophotometer, which is used for qualitative and quantitative analysis of the compounds. And the double beam UV spectrophotometer is used for the analysis of the compounds. The machine room simulates an environment similar to a large scale pharmaceutical industry. Machine room consists of tray dryer, insulinator, planetary mixer, lyophilizer, cube mixer, sigma blade blender, automated sieve shaker, dehumidifier, bottle washing machine, Environment Chamber Autoclave Filtration Apparatus Rolex Tablet Machine Collapsible Tube Filling Machine V-Cone Blender Double Cone Blender Triple Roller Mill Pan Coater and Root Crusher The institution provides hostel facilities for its girl students. The hostel is friendly and home-like ambience for more than 100 girls. It provides mess facilities along with comfortable dining facilities. Keeping sanitary condition in mind, sanitary pad vending machine and sanitary pad incinerator has been installed in the hostel itself. The hostel provides fully furnished common rooms, triplets, and singlets along with well-maintained bathrooms. It provides students safety, security and good study environment. The National Service Scheme volunteers of the college are working in various areas such as health, education and environmental conservation. The students are gaining hand-on experience in community services and are developing skills like leadership qualities, communication and teamwork. The National Cadet Corps Unit of the college is established in the year 2020. The unit participates in variety of activities and training programs including physical training, weapon handling, map reading and leadership development. 
cadets also participate in community services and adventure activities like camping and trekking. The college also have a fully functional Red Ribbon Club which organizes blood donation camps regularly in the college and in the locality. The college also conducts several other sports activities for the all-around development of the students like cricket, kabaddi, volleyball, badminton, and many more for both boys and girls. We are having a 52-seater college bus which is typically used for students visit to nearby places and during outings from girls hostel to provide students with safe convenient way to get around. We are also having a bolero which is serving as an ambulance in the college itself. Now, coming on to the fitness center, the gym. In between the hectic schedules of the college, the college thrive to give the best of facilities to their students for their all-around development. Here, we are having a well-equipped fitness center helping our students and faculty members to maintain a healthy lifestyle. In spite of the extreme cold weather condition here in our locality, we have successfully developed a herbal garden which comprises of quite a good variety of herbs and plants directly sown in the ground. Coming on to the canteen or the cafeteria, it provides a convenient and affordable option for students to access for a quick bite in between the classes. The canteen is a lively and a bustling place which is a central part of student life. The entire GCP Rohuru campus is under 24-7 CCTV surveillance and is completely ragging free. It provides students a beautiful place to learn in the nature, close to nature and away from cities hustle and bustle. The institute provides top-notch pharmaceutical education in the state of Himachal Pradesh and aims to be one of the premier pharmacy institute in northern India in upcoming years.